everybody. This is Bogast Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the NECA Target Exclusive TMNT Turtles in Disguise 4-Pack. So before we take a look at the turtles, let's take a look at the heaps of accessories that they come with. So first up, we get Pigeon P, and he has some really nice cartoon shading done on him. And the eyes are actually done pretty well. I've seen that some of these have been pretty sloppy. As you can see, the green is leaking onto the white just a little bit, but it's not too bad overall. Up next, they come with their hat and human disguise masks, which may be NECA's best human head sculpts ever. <laughs> but uh, these do look really nice. They have the cartoon shading on them, and you can switch them around. That's the good thing about all most of the accessories in this set, not all. Um, most of the accessories in this set can be swapped to each figure, so you can give them different looks and different expressions, and I really like that. I think that's awesome. So yeah, you can swap the masks to any of the figures. Up next, all of them come with angry head sculpts. The cool things about this head sculpt is you can actually switch out the faces and create different expressions between all of the figures. So for example, here you can create a scared expression Michelangelo and a confused looking Leonardo. That's the awesome thing about this set is you can swap the bandanas and the lower faces to create different expressions and I really like that because you can get a ton of different looks out of these. You can really show a range of emotions with this figures because of being able to swap these out. So that is so awesome. Up next they come with a slice of pizza, a single slice. It looks like uh, cheese, pepperoni, and olives. So you can give this to any of the turtles. Up next, all four turtles come with these relaxed hands. I also like to use these for pizza holding hands. Up next, they come with a normal pizza. It has the pan underneath it. This one looks like it might be cheese, pepperoni, peppers, and olives. Up next, you get my favorite pizza accessory, the ice cream and fish pizza. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite pizza accessory from this set. You get two sets of thumbs up hands. Up next, you get a set of pointing fingers. You get extra accessory holding hands for the figures, and these are the exact same as the uh, the ones I had on the figures at the start of the video. Um, so I'm not sure what these are for. These might be to hold the pizza, that way you don't stretch out the regular hands. But yeah, you do get an extra set of these. You get the Hare and the Tortoise book, and again, you can give this to any of the figures. Up next, they come with a boombox, and you can give this to any figure. But I do like to have it displayed like this, it's not staying right now. And you can also have any of the turtles hold the boombox like that. And Michelangelo comes with his weird hat and his skateboard. And uh, one thing I wanted to say is the skateboard is really cool. The wheels actually work on it, but there's no pegs or anything to peg the feet into. So the best you're going to do is just try and balance it and get it to stand. Which it is possible, but it would have been a lot easier if it would have had at least just one peg to peg into the uh, holes in the feet. And finally, of course, all of the turtles come with each of their respective accessories. And I think they look really nice. Michelangelo actually has real chain on his nunchucks. All of the weapons have that cartoon shading to them, and they look pretty good. I didn't have any problems getting the accessories into their hands or feeling like they're going to break. So the tailored outfits look really, really nice. You get the pants and the trench coats. But my main complaint with this set is the trench coats won't stay closed. Um, because of the shells, uh, they just want to open up. They don't want to stay for anything, which is weird because the uh, the movie Raphael in disguise, um, he comes with a different trench coat, but I've never once had an issue with uh, the trench coat doing this. So yeah, that's my big complaint with this set, is that uh, the trench coats do not want to stay closed. And the cloth goods are removable, so you can get plain turtles as well. And they also have storage for all of their weapons. And Donatello, his bow staff, goes in the uh, the holder just fine. Um, as you can see, Leonardo's swords do not go in the sheaths at all. Um, it feels like it's going to break the swords. And on the left side, I couldn't even get the sword in as far as the uh, one on the right. And it, uh, it feels really difficult getting that right one out. So yeah, um, that's another complaint I have, is that uh, Leo's swords will not go in the sheaths properly. As you can see, Raphael's size fit nicely under the belt, but uh, Michelangelo's nunchucks do not. As you can see, uh, the one that I have in there is barely in there, and uh, the one nunchuck actually came out. So yeah, Michelangelo and Leonardo's weapons uh, don't fit in the intended places properly. So there all of the turtles are out of their disguises and holding their weapons, and they look really, really nice. Um, I'm not really sure what the big difference between this set and the previous releases are. 
I don't have them, so I'm not totally sure. It might be the collar. I want to say that these are darker in collar. Um, but they look really nice. All of that cartoon shading and the muscles, the black lines look really good. There's not a whole lot of sculpt detail, but you really don't need it because the designs from the cartoon were pretty simple. So I'm really happy with the way they look. And like I said, with all of those head sculpts, you can switch them and get a range of different looks out of them. And I really like that. So now let's go ahead and go over the articulation. Um, Raphael seems to have the best articulation because I boiled all of the turtles. And Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Donatello have really stiff shoulders. That is my uh, other major complaint with this, is the shoulders on these three feel like they're going to snap off when you move them. But uh, Raphael does, I'm not sure why he had the best joints. Like I said, when I boiled him, his arms feel normal. They, they feel fine. So, first of all, the bandana actually has some articulation. You can move it up and down, spin it all the way around, and get it moving side to side. They have a ball-jointed head and neck that can look all the way up. And you can get them looking all the way down. And you can move their heads side to side. They have ball-jointed shoulders that should be able to move out all the way. Like I said, the rest of the figures don't want to do that. They have swivel at the bicep, single-jointed elbows that can bend in just about all the way. You can also move side to side. They have swiveled the wrist that can move side to side and hinge up and down, which some of them actually have normal swivels that move up and down and side to side, but some of them also have hinges. They also have ball jointed diaphragms that can crunch forward just a little bit and back just a little bit and move side to side. I was pleasantly surprised with the articulation there. You can also get some rocking. They have ball jointed hips that can do a complete split. I think that might also be another difference, as uh, these use the new ball-jointed hips, and the old figures use the old style. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, though. They can also kick forward all the way. They can kick back all the way. They have double-jointed knees that can kick back further than I thought they'd be able to. The knee pads don't hinder it too bad. And they have swivel ankles that can move down all the way, up all the way, and an ankle rocker. So now, let's do some size comparisons. Here, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo are next to their movie counterparts. Uh, these are the only ones that could fit in frame. Here, Donatello is next to his movie counterpart. Here they are next to the Walmart exclusive pinball crate shredder. Here they are next to the Turtles in Time Baxter Stockman. Just for fun, here they are next to the G1 model Optimus Prime figure. And finally, there they are next to He-Man. And he actually scales better with them than I thought he would. So overall, I would highly recommend picking this set up if you can find it. Personally, this set has been a nightmare for me to find. But I'm very happy now that I've found it. Because it is definitely worth every penny. Um, the accessory count is insane on this set. And um, even though you can leave the disguises on the turtles, I will probably leave my turtles like this. Just uh, normal. But I do like that it gives you a ton of different display options for the turtles. Hopefully I went over everything in depth and uh, gave a good enough look at all of the accessories and stuff. Because I have never reviewed um, such a big box set like this. I've never reviewed a uh, four pack with this many accessories. So hopefully I went over everything and covered everything the way I should. So overall I would highly recommend picking up this pack because it is amazing. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.